today we will see regarding another important clinical situation which is intradilatic hypertension that is high blood pressure during dialysis as you see in the monitor the bp is now around systolic 160 again the definition what is it no standard definition for theoretical purpose a rise in 20 millimeter of mercury after the start of dialysis is intradilatic hypertension or high blood pressure during dialysis many times it is not uncommon to see values of 180 systolic even 190 systolic in that time patient will develop symptoms also like shortness of breath chest pain even cva ic bleed is also common because those are hypertensive emergency so the topic today we are going to discuss is hypertension during dialysis in maintenance hemodialysis patient the first important process is the volume overload. Over a period of time, patient might have accumulated the volume. The body weight, that is dry weight might be 50 kg, he might have accumulated more water over a period of months or weeks. As soon as the dialysis is started, there will be some kind of homeostasis imbalance, the BP will start going high even to the level of more than 180 that is first and the most common cause in technical term if i have to tell abnormal dry weight calculation patient dry weight is less water is more so that needs optimization over a period of weeks so the first is the volume overload the second most important is the drug removal the patient might have had hypertensive medication any group of drug for that matter as you see clearance is occurring dialysate and the dialyzer blood is going in some molecules will be removed as yes, of course the drugs will also be removed not all drugs will be removed there are particular group of drugs where the clearance is more and also the dialyzer characteristic if the Dialyzer allows the molecule to pass through. That means the drugs will be removed. If the clearance is more, during dialysis BP shoots up. Another most important cause. Patient might have taken the drug at the morning around 9 am or 10 am. When the dialysis starts at 11 am, all the drugs might be removed. The BP will shoot up. So the drugs have to be reviewed and the clearance have to be checked during dialysis. The second cause. The third one is exaggerated sympathetic and renin angiosystem reaction why it occurs it won't occur in all in certain patient it occurs one theoretical explanation for that is hyperkalemia for example if a patient potassium is on the higher side in certain situation previously in the dialysate if the potassium is zero there is a gross fluctuation of potassium level which lead to this abnormal activation sympathetic and the raw system activation because of the potassium as by theoretical explanation in some so the third is the rainy angiotensin aldosterone system or the sympathetic activation in some patient it can be a patient body reaction to the dialyzer components or this sympathetic activation can occur without any possible theoretical explanation also some patients are prone for this and their bp shoots up the last one is the endothelial dysfunction this first in the patient might be already having lot of other comorbidities the blood vessel endothelial dysfunction might be there so as soon as dialysis started bp shoots up these are the four possible explanation for high blood pressure and more theories are being coming up for this particular condition the bp shoots up as soon as the dialysis is started so in summary what is this intradialytic hypertension that is high blood pressure during dialysis rise in 20 mm of mercury in the blood pressure during dialysis with or without symptoms if bp goes towards 180 more likely patient will develop the symptoms common causes one is volume overload second one is drugs removal Third one is sympathetic and the raw system activation, secondary to potassium fluctuation. And the last one is the endothelial dysfunction, four theoretical causes. That's all.